Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Now I am going to explain how to install Zoop CMS application on Ubuntu 17.04. First of all, Zoop is a popular and easy to use CMS application written in PHP. It uses a modular architecture and it's an ideal tool for developing small to large dynamic community websites or web blocks. The Zoop CMS application requires a web server to functionally based on LAMP setup on your system and some of the racket php modules i have already installed and configured lamp setup on my system so i have to proceed the installation of zoop cms application on my system before you have to install the application we should update the system repository using this following command then hit enter the repository is updating now now we have to create the new database to access the zoop cms application then hit enter and then here we have to give the password for root user the database console is open now and then here we have to create the new database then hit enter now we have to create a new user and give the privileges to access the zoops database and then here we have to mention the username and then here we have to mention a password for this user now we have to flush the privileges then hit enter now we have to exit from this database console then hit enter now we have to switch into the following directory then hit enter here we have to list out the files I have already downloaded a package of Zoop CMS application. Now I am going to unzip the package. Then hit enter. The unzipping process was completed now. Now we have to list out the files. And then here we can see the Zoop CMS application. Now we have to move this file into the following path. And then here I have to mention a destination and then here i have to rename the file and then hit enter now we have to change into the following directory then hit enter and then here we have to list out the files and then here we can see the zoop cms application directory then we are going to change ownership and permission for this zoops directory Then hit enter. Now we have to change the permission. Then hit enter. Now we have to create a new virtualhost configuration to accessing a Zoop CMS application. So we have to create a new file. And then here we have to mention a file name. Then hit enter the file is open now and then here we have to proceed the virtualhost configuration after configuring virtualhost we have save and exit from this file then we have to enable the site access for new creation of virtualhost configuration and then here we have to mention a file name then hit enter now we have to enable the rewrite module then hit enter now we have to disable the default site access then hit enter now we have to restart the apache service then hit enter the service is restarted now the service is restarted now now we have to open a browser the browser is open now and then here we can give the following url and then here we have to mention a local ip address or a domain name so i have to give my domain name then hit enter the site is loading now the site is open now and then here we can choose the language after choosing the language we have to click continue and then here it will show on a installation results after choosing your configuration we have to click continue then it will show on a checking your server configuration 
after checking your server configuration we have to click continue and then here we can see the what is the version we has been installed zip cms application on the system and then here it will show on a path setting if you want to change any path please proceed here after check it out your path configuration you have to click continue and then here it will show on a database connection and then here we have to give the database username and then here we have to give the password then we have to choose use persistent connection then we have to click continue then we have to give the database name then we have to click continue and then here it will show on a system configuration after ch check it out your system configuration you have to click continue and then here it will show on a database table name then we have to click continue and then here we have to give the detail for admin user here we have to give the email id for admin user and then here we have to give the password again we have to give the password then we have to click continue and then here it will show on a database setting after check it out the database setting we have to click continue then it will show on a site configuration here it will show on a site name i have to give linux help after choosing your configuration you have to click continue and then here you can choose your default theme for your site i have to choose xs watch then i have to click continue here you can choosing your services like a messaging profile and protector if you want to choose a service please please choose your service after choosing your service you have to click continue then here it will show on a module installation after check it out your module installation we have to click continue and then here it will show on a welcome page of zoop sites then we have to click continue now we get a home page of zoop cms application and then here we have to click administration menu and now we get a administration page and then here we can see the control panel of administration these are all the installation process about how to install Xoop CMS application on Ubuntu 17.04. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Linux Help. To more further videos, visit www.linuxhelp.com. For any queries, mail to support at linuxhelp.com.